I'm Rob with Precision Zone, and I'm going to be showing you how to perform a quick static check on a Magnatech Impulse G Plus VG Plus Series 2 of crane inverters. Now the first thing that we're going to do is power off the machine and give the inverter some time to discharge its DC bus. Now this particular inverter does have a charge lamp that when it goes out, the DC bus should be discharged. But we're always gonna double check that just because we don't wanna get any accidental shock from the DC bus. Performing these tests, we're gonna be using this Hioki meter, and this is a quality meter at a decent price. We need to perform these tests with a quality meter, that way we can get accurate results. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a measurement across the DC bus to make sure that the DC bus is no longer holding a charge. Go ahead and place your meter into the DC setting and take the positive lead and put it on the positive side of the DC bus and the negative lead on the negative side of the DC bus. So there's the negative, there's the positive. It looks like we're getting about 0.4 volts, and that's great. If we were getting anything more than one volt, I would just give it a little bit more time just to be safe. So the next thing that we're gonna do is perform a phase to ground test, and we'll put our digital multimeters in the resistance function, get a good ground, and measure across all the inputs and the outputs, making sure that none of them are shorted. So I'm gonna find a good ground, and this is a, this is a great one, and then we'll measure across L1. L2, L3, that's great, T1, T2, and T3. So that's awesome, that's a great start. None of the inputs or outputs are shorted to ground, so we're gonna go ahead and move into the next step, which is performing a diode check on the input and output transistors. So let's go ahead and place our meters into the diode check. And then what we're gonna be doing here is taking the negative side of our digital multimeter and placing it on the positive side of the DC bus and then taking our positive probe and going between L1, L2, and L3 and checking what reading we get. So we've got the negative side of the probe on the positive side of the DC bus. And we'll go L1, so 0.53, L2, 0.53, and L3. 5.3. Well, that's great. The most important part about this test is that they're balanced across all three phases, which they are, and the readings could be anywhere between 0.2 and 1 volt. So now what we're going to do is switch our leads, and we'll take the negative side of our probe and take it on the positive side of the DC bus, and then check all three phases again. 0.53, 0.53, 0.53. Well, that's great. So we're gonna perform the exact same check on the outputs. Negative probe to the positive side of the DC bus. And we'll go T1, 0.43, T2, 0.42, and T3, 4.3. Okay, nice and balanced. Let's go ahead and switch our leads. Positive probe on the negative side of the DC bus. T1, 0.42, T2, 4.2, and T3, 4.2. Now that's great, this inverter is checking fine statically, and if you are having problems and you perform this test and you still haven't found anything wrong, please reach us at Precision Zone where we can help you troubleshoot your inverter a little bit more. Now we always perform free evaluations and we provide 12 month warranties on the repair, sale, and exchange of this specific inverter. Thanks for watching.